sometimes we get stuck in these situations where we start looking to other people for our self-esteem. And sometimes we find ourselves looking in broken mirrors to get a reflection of ourselves. And the greatest tragedy is when you look into a broken mirror to see if you're pretty, right? And you're gonna let that person tell you about your inner qualities. My father, he said, doesn't take much strength to pull it through. Try to get up in the morning every day. You go work for them. That's a tough guy. Doesn't take much strength to pull it through. What is that? You want to go? Go work for a living on a job you don't like to do, but you do it for the love of your family. That's a tough guy. Confidence is arrogance under control. That's all confidence is. The only thing I miss about the NBA is being around 15 people all day long who are thoroughly convinced they're the best in the world at what they do. But this is what you should be careful of. Don't you ever cross that line into arrogance. Because arrogant people stop growing, arrogant people stop developing because arrogant people think they have arrived. Be as confident as you can be without crossing the line into arrogance. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that sh If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's going to pay off. You can do this. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You learn nothing from winning. You only learn from your failures. I hate plan B. Every thought that you put into plan B, you're taking away now that thought and that energy from plan A. I've never ever had a plan B. I made a full commitment that I'm going to go and be a bodybuilding champion. I made a full commitment that I'm going to be in America. I made a full commitment that I'm going to get into show business and I'm going to be a leading man. No matter what it takes, I will do the work. I will do the work over and over and over until I get it. No matter what's going on in your life, it's not permanent. Everything is going to change. So there's two things you can do with change. You can react to it or you can participate in it. It's going to change anyway. So if you keep waiting around, you're going to have to react to the change. And now you, you're behind. But if you participate in the change, if you know the job you have is not going to last forever. COVID proved that already. Where you go to work at every day, that's going to change. COVID proved that already. So what you got to start doing is you got to start anticipating that it's going to change and just start living your life with the preparation for change. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? And if you actually ask that question, but you have to want to know the answer, because right? that's actually what asking the question means. It doesn't mean just mouthing the words. It means you have to decide that you want to know. You'll figure that's out so fast it'll make your hair curl. What would happen if you consulted yourself about the best possible outcome for you? You might get an answer. I just beat me. This ain't about nobody else. I don't give a fuck about nobody else. I just beat me. I'm in a battle with the only person that I really want to can beat, and that's me. If I can continue to outdo me from the day before, then I'm ahead. You can think about it. You can wish for it. You can hope for it. You can think all about it, all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work, inch by inch by mother inch, you will never get there. And I want you to take the word hope and I want you to throw it on the mother ground and I want you to replace it with the word I will do in 2022 because that's the only chance you got.
fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. We are all telling ourselves a story. Stay focused. Don't listen to nobody. What's on your mind, just do it. Because what's destined for you, you're going to get it. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. It's about looking in the mirror and you may start, man, I feel different. That reflects is not everything. It's a feeling you're supposed to get. So you have to, in life, once you leave your house, the war begins. In your house, you have some control. And that reflection in that mirror, you have to control that reflection in the mirror. That's how you start your day. Leave your house feeling like, okay, I can fight. I've established the mentality to fight. And that, all that comes from working out. It's not just from, you know, you can't find that in the office. There was times when I went to practice, I hadn't even eaten. And guys would be out there complaining. And the only thing I was working on was my work ethic and my drive and my dream and my goal to get to where I was trying to get to. And I knew if I would have stopped at that moment, I would never get to where I was trying to get to. This decision is yours and yours alone. There's two people born in a hospital every day. This person is born in a hospital that's going to get a job. And somebody born in a hospital that's going to give them a job. You get to decide which one you're going You must visualize the steps that lead you to the thing that you want. Not the end goal. This is a major mistake that people make. What happens is because you've only focused on the end goal, you start to feel really unmotivated and discouraged because you're nowhere near it. You gotta pick something that you want in order to get started. But manifesting isn't about the end. It's about going from where you are here to where you want to go. Imagine that there is a bridge that connects where you are right here with what you dream about doing. My morning routine is every day I get in, every single day. That's why I hate that the most. You have to do something that sucks every day. Because why, once you overcome the suck, oh, now you're powerful. You've overcome yourself already, so now you're ready to battle. You can decide, I'm gonna work on myself and develop myself. I'm going to empower me. And all of these things that are happening to me right now, they're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. I'm in charge here. The most important thing is that you have a vision, that you have a goal. Because without that vision and without that goal, again, you're drifting around and you're never going to end up anywhere. People don't become successful just by accident. This is why I always recommend to people, sit down, take your time and start thinking about why do you want to work out? What is your goal? And that can be as crazy as it is. It could be, uh, you know, I want to impress girls. If that's your goal, so be it, but it motivates you. Every decision we make in our lives as individuals or as organizations is a piece of communication. It's our way of saying something about who we are and what we believe. This is why authenticity matters. This is why you have to say and do the things you actually believe. Because the things you say and do are symbols of who you are. I'm sure people have told you to make sure you have something to fall back on. Make sure you got something to fall back on, honey. But I never understood that concept, having something to fall back on. If I'm going to fall, I don't want to fall back on anything except my faith. I want to fall forward. I figure at least this way I'll see what I'm going to hit. Fall forward. This is what I mean.